Hi guys, welcome to our new episode of the Poseidon God of Water 20 show. I know. What you guys must be thinking. And please don't think me too crazy. But, I think we'll begin today with a sing-along session. Oh no, wait, we can't. Okay, so, unless you don't mind going a cappella. No, we'll leave it out. So, uh, I know what we'll do instead. Hold on just a second. Now, it may have been a very short while since this has been done. I'll read you one of my own stories, shall I? Here we go. How about... Wendy Adams? Here we go. Twenty third of October nineteen eighty two. It was a cold night and snow was falling very heavily, and Stephen and Miriam Adams were driving home in the storm from work. They had left their one year old daughter Wendy with her aunt Nora and thought they'd phone phone her to ask if she could stay if she could have her for the night when they got in so they carefully stopped in a side road to call her on the in car telephone of course Nora agreed to help when to keep Wendy for the night and advised them not to drive any further because of the dangerous icy roads while they were on the phone, another car crashed into them from the back, flipping them over, causing the phone cord to wrap around Miriam's neck, strangling her to death. And the car exploded, killing Stephen in the process. The police called on Nora to let her know the sad news. Nora was absolutely devastated by the news of her sister and brother-in-law's tragic deaths. On top of that, she now had an orphan niece who needed someone to care for her. I'll take her in. She's my sister's daughter. I love her to pieces, she told them through her sadness and tears. 25th of October, 1992. Ten years and two days have passed since the tragic car accident that killed young Wendy Adams' parents. And so for the past decade she'd been living with her loving aunt Nora, who was the coolest aunt in the world. 
She was also the only mother Wendy had ever known, having brought her up since the tragedy. Even though Nora had told her about her birth parents and how they died, she still insisted on calling her Mum instead of Aunt Nora. It was 4.30 in the afternoon and Wendy had just arrived home from drama club and was taking her coat and shoes off. That was good, she said to herself. As soon as she walked through the porch door, Nora ran in and wrapped her up in her arms. Hello, precious, she said while hugging her and stroking her hair. She released her after ten straight minutes and led her to the living room to sit down and chat about her day. And I managed an A in French today, Wendy told her. Nora, Nora was so proud of her. She pulled her into another massive hug. Wendy was doing so well in school that she was really close to winning the golden merit for outstanding achievement. She was also one of the monitors who helped her headmaster keep order around the school and she was the best member of the drama club she belonged to. After dinner it was time to get ready for bed so Wendy had her bath and changed into her nighties. Nora came up to check on her and inspect her. Excellent, honey, she said before tucking her into bed with a mug of cocoa to help her relax. And so that was Wendy Adams. I hope you enjoyed that. Oh, there are plenty more still to come. Episodes of all different types that I normally would do on the show. So you won't be without them. I just hope if you all appreciate what I do for you and if there's ever an episode like there were many this season that you don't see on YouTube it's because there's stuff in it that I can't show on the channel no 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 you dirty minded freaks um not stuff of that nature stuff of the uh copyright infringing nature so I dare not show it even in an episode on this channel because I'm sure you may have heard by now all of the James's reactions videos have had to be taken down due to one having to be removed because one member of the YouTube community didn't like what I'd done so yeah you know When stuff like that happens, it's beyond our control. So that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. There will be another one coming very soon, I assure you. But until then, thanks for watching. Peace.